Welcome back. In today's video, we have a submission from Olteanu and it's about a nice looking plant in a similar game like Plants vs. Zombies. I'm sure you all know that game. So let's jump into it and see what we have. I see this image is a JPEG and it's also upscaled. So both of those things definitely don't work well because we have plenty of artifacts and if you zoom in closely, I'm just not gonna be able to work on this piece as usual so i'll just give at least some tips on how you can shade it how you can render this uh, type of plant a bit differently first things first i would say that if you wanted to clean up jpegs just a little bit uh, as much as that is possible pick a color for example this one you can see this yellow color doesn't have any artifacts if the pixels if the pixel and all the pixels next to it are of the same color this is why you don't have artifacts in the middle of here uh, of this gray tone or this yellow tone so if i pick this color and i use pin bucket tool and i set a tolerance let's say 10 15 20 something like that and use it you can see that most of the artifacts disappear but it's not a foolproof way because there are still going to be some artifacts which are closer to this uh, green tone than, than this yellow tone and the difficulty also comes when you have a lot of gray tones because some gray tones can overlap and erase each other for example do you see this white tone over here and you have this mid tone right below it if i use this white tone and click on it to basically clean up the white tone you can see it bleeds into this gray tone this mid tone so it's not a foolproof way but at least if you want to clean up some parts, I guess it could work up to a certain point. And again, you can play with a lot of tolerances, but trying to find like a golden ground, it's kind of impossible for this type of thing. So what I'll do is I'm going to resize this image and I'll, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I've downscaled this image by six times, roughly. And you'll notice that there are some distortions and uh, wrongly placed pixels, even if I downscale by six times, because if I try to downscale something, it really should be around the number, ideally something that is on, on the power of 2 or 10, or at least it's a multiple of 10. Basically, you wanted to get as round a number as possible uh, when you are downscaling. So, for example, if you upscale it 10 times, and if I downscale it 10 times, uh, it's going to be a round number because 100% divided by 10 is 10% exactly. But if I downscale it by 6 times, it's going to be 16 point six 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 and so on so it's not a not around the number and because of that you will have some distortions for example look at this pixel here it's a closed place but here it's being lost so even if i downscale it it's not going to be perfect in cases like this but nonetheless let's talk about the image itself so first let's try to talk about colors and please be, keep in mind that because this is a downscaled JPEG, we have still way too many colors because of artifacts, but I'm just going to talk about what I see are the original colors. So first, we have this white tone here, and you see this mid-tone right below it. For this type of style, I think you can combine this into one. So essentially, this bottom portion can be of the same color as this one. I think that would make it look cleaner because... When you introduce too many colors, it can start to look a bit muddy, uh, especially on white surfaces like uh, this plant's head, for example. So that's number one. Uh, number two, I would say, is the way you have shaded the entire image is a bit unbalanced. And by that, I mean that some places have a lot of details. For example, the plant leaves themselves, which is good. It, I'm not saying that's bad, but the stalks beneath have no details at all they are basically just in one tone introduce some extra colors to it so to give you an example how this might look like is you can take this color and you can create a lighter tone okay there we go so this is something very quick it's not a it's not a lot and you really don't need a lot in fact, you can even combine these darker tones from these uh, yellow portions uh, right down as well if you, if you really want to keep your color palette even smaller. The other thing I would say is shading on the leaves themselves is a bit odd. For example, you can uh, see that the light source is coming from the top left, so each of these leaves should be shaded a bit differently. And you are definitely on the right path. Let's take this leaf. So do you see how it curves downwards? 
so it's something like this and it since it also has this middle section like so it also has this type of uh, heart to it i would say now if you imagine the light coming from the top left so if you imagine this leaf being like that uh, and i'm emphasizing the curvature here on the right and the light source is coming from the top left like so so you can imagine that this leaf is going to have the most light which looks directly at the light source so this portion would have the most light then you would have less light here because it's looking in the other direction so you can imagine that this portion looks directly at the light source so if i pick another color like so it's looking directly at the light source this one isn't looking at it, this one is looking at it. So whenever you think about light source and how to shade things, you can either look at it from the perspective of the light source, what is hitting it directly, or you can put little eyes on the object that you are trying to shade and see where the eyes would look at. And if just like in real life, if you are looking directly at the light, it's going to be the brightest. If you look to the side, it's going to be darker. So keeping that in mind, I would come in and shade this bottom portion and give it some shadow like that. And I'm going to be quick about it because I can be really as precise as I would like because of artifacts. Okay, now we can imagine the similar thing for this specific one. I think I like this shadow tone on the right a bit more. And it's, it's only one tone, it's going to be also quite a bit faster to shade everything else. If you are looking at the bottom portion, you are essentially placing the shadow on the bottom portion uh, when you are talking about larger chunks of shadow. And for the leaves on the top, you can do the opposite. Okay. And again, you can put just a little bit shadow on the top as well if you wanted to. Nonetheless, I think something like this would be more closer to shading that you, you would probably want. So think about where the light source is and which portions of the object it would directly hit and which ones would be more in the shadow. So essentially the two main tips would be introduce more details on the stalks or, or essentially the bottom portion of this plant. And you can even add more details if you want. So if you wanted to add some highlights, you can certainly do so. Uh, I mean, that's going to be essentially up to you how you want to render your image in more. This is the, basically the first tip. And the second tip would be introduce larger chunks of shadow on your leaves. So you can see that you have only one pixel of shadow. You can introduce larger shadows. It creates an, a, a nicer volume. Okay. I hope these couple of tips help you out. And I hope to see your game submitted in the future as well, because personally, I like playing tower defense games. Nonetheless, remember to relax and have fun.